Going on Coalport Carl here for another weekly edition of what I like to call Coalport Carl Bog Time. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I call it. Want to talk to you this week about a couple things. First of all, you know, as I mentioned earlier on the uh, Facebook page, I took some work this week, uh, changing some oil, working on the heavy equipment up there at uh, where to put the sewer in. Of course, I uh, did that number one reason, did that for the money. Carl always looked for a way to make extra money, and uh, for good money in diesel work, there ain't no denying that. But the biggest reason I did it, honestly, hoping for a chance to be able to get my butt in the seat of an excavator, or a loader, or a bulldozer. I thought, boy, if I could get myself on a bulldozer for a couple of hours, then that's power. I mean, you get your hands on the sticks of a dozer, and you really start laying into the diesel, boy. That's power. You drop that blade and just push. That's what I'd be into doing, too. I'd push. I'd like to bring it uptown here, you know, and greet a few people with it. I saw on a TV show one time a guy armored a bulldozer and started calling a kill dozer, you know. He went downtown and showed a few people about what it was about, you know. I can think of a few places I'd like to go down, I'll tell you that right now. A few people, too, looking at me with the eye the way they do. I'd show them. I take a kill dozer to them. They'd know what I was talking about too. I took a kill dozer to them. I tell you right now. The other thing I was thinking about, I went up there at the Moose Saturday night to see Cottonmouth, you know. And if you haven't seen them, I recommend it. They're a good band. Really, they are. I enjoyed it. But while I'm sitting there, I'm seeing some guy, you know. He's sitting there with a beer in his hand, nodding off. I start thinking, buddy, if that's what you're going to do when you come out to the bar and drink, Put a nipple on it and stay home. You know what I'm saying? Because guys like me, we ain't got time for your inability. That's what I'm trying to say, really. When I go out to the bar, I go out to do some damage. And I don't mean to other people or to the facility. I mean to the booze. That's what I'm there for, you know? And if all you can do is drink a couple and start nodding off, don't bring it. Stay home. Stay home with your kid. Toss the ball around or something. You know what I mean? Don't bring that game out to me. You can't play the real game. Leave your fake game at home. So I started thinking about that, you know. I told my buddy Jason Turner, I said, look at this dude over here nodding off the bar. That's what he's got to offer. I, I started thinking about it, you know. It really frustrated me. It really did. I didn't have any time for it. I started thinking about it. And then I started thinking, maybe, you know, Maybe everybody can't be like me when it comes to drinking, and everybody has their own talent, I guess. But I just don't understand why you bother trying to fake it, that's all. So then I got done watching the band up there, you know, down there at the market get myself a sandwich. I looked through the menu and finally decided I'm going to have a cheesesteak. I put in my order, and poor John's back there, you know, trying to clean and wipe things and Check people out at the register. He's probably got to clean the toilets later that night. And then I'm trying to wait on my sandwiches and they keep taking longer and longer. I can't figure out why. Finally, they say to me, your sandwich will be out as soon as his are done. They point over to some guy already standing there. Well, I don't know how long he's been standing there, but he's waiting too. And that's when I realized they got a trainee back there making food. You can't put a trainee on at 2 o'clock in the morning and get in a bar crowd on a Saturday. Put the trainee on on daylight. When it's slower, they can have somebody there to teach them. Put someone experienced back there making food then. I think they should stop calling it Minute Mark. Change the name to Hour Mark. I don't know what you're going to call it from now on, but I'm going to call it Hour Mark. That's what I'm going to start doing. So, hey, I wanted to mention to you, this coming Saturday, old Carl... He's going to be doing a personal appearance up here at Sunshine with Rapid Fire. I think y'all should come out and see me. I'd enjoy hanging out with you, talking a little bit, you know, about what's going on in our lives and stuff. It might be a good time. Rapid Fire's a good band. Sunshine's a decent place. And old Carl would love to see you. He really would. Of course, you know I'll be drinking because that's what it do. That's what it do. Hope I'll run into that, uh, that, uh, Coach Patterson up there. He's a good dude. I love talking to him. He, he has a good, uh, good plan for helping kids stay, uh, stay straight and keep their nose clean, you know? I like that. I like a guy that has a plan for something like that. You know who I don't want to run into up there, though? 
is in Bellwood Tipton Meat Necks. I'm not fans of them. I know they call themselves meatballs, but I call them meat necks. I don't have time to call them meatballs. You know, I'm not saying they're bad guys, but I don't get the whole weightlifting thing. It's not really something I'm into, really. I'd much rather just drink and smoke. That's what I like to do. So, that's about what i got going on right now. I'm hoping to see you uh, this Saturday up there at Sunshine. And uh, keep watching me on Facebook. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody being fans and stuff and everything and liking what I do. And Please keep doing that. I like that a lot. I'll catch you later.